So we'll have the details coming up after the break. And I'll have the national forecast for you later on. This is Ty Ty on Scott. Uh, do we not have a Wednesday telecom? Night on ISU TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU TV's longest running television program brings you the weather from around the country to the heart of Iowa. The ISU Meteorology Department team of forecasters keep you ahead of the storm. From Iowa's most trusted weather team, this is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back. I am joined by Brandon Libby, and this is the last show of the year for Size Eyes on the Skies, and we are both seniors, so this is actually the last show we'll both be on the air. It's sad. It is sad. It's been a lot of fun doing Size Eyes over the last few years. And it's been an honor being able to produce it the last two. Yeah, I can see you're actually starting to tear up right now. I am. I had to bring my Kleenexes or in my pocket. I might need to use them later. Yeah, so speaking of water, like tears, and it was raining today. Can you tell it us was. about that? Are we, we done with that? For the, for the most part, for now. I mean, we woke up to colder and rainy, and we kind of saw some spotty showers throughout the day. But we are seeing some nice sunny skies out there right now. It warmed up very nicely to the upper 60s. We're currently still in the upper 60s 66 here in Ames and you know here's the clouds and radar we saw a lot of scattered showers out there but we're starting to dry out and we'll see those that sunshine for the rest of the day until sunset now waking up tomorrow 45 degrees as you wake up at 8 a.m. by noon we'll make it up to 57 and we should have clear skies by 4 p.m. 65 degrees will be your high so it's looking to be a nice day tomorrow we'll have more details coming up in just a little bit Sounds great. Now, I'll tell you a little bit about the national forecast after the break. We had some interesting weather across the entire country. We had some cool spots in the middle. We'll tell you a little bit more as we move across the country. Over in the northeast, we had some seasonal temperatures, 64 in Syracuse and cloudy, 60 degrees in Augusta, Maine. It was clear over there right now, and 64 in New York under some cloudy skies. Moving down to the southeast, 69 in Atlanta, 78 in Orlando, clear skies there, 74 in New Orleans, and 73 in Little Rock under partly cloudy skies. Over to the southwest, we are at 90 degrees in Las Vegas and just 68 in Santa Monica. Quite a temperature gradient there. 81 in Salt Lake City, quite warm for this time of year. Moving into the northwest, we are at 71 in Seattle, partly cloudy skies there. And check that out, 85 degrees in Boise. Very warm day for them in the northwest. Across the, the middle of the country, it was pretty cool. 59 in Chicago, 60 in Minneapolis, 60 in Sunny and Pierre, 70 in North Platte. Moving out, we had uh, quite a bit of a storm system. It's been kind of slowly moving across the country, and it's starting to move into the Great Lake region, bringing rain all the way from western New York down into the Gulf. And we'll take a little closer look at this. Here you can see the low spinning, and we'll actually have a brand to tell you a little bit more about that because that's in our area. But down here we had some showers that are moving off the shore and some rain as well up through Ohio into Kentucky and Tennessee. With all this rain, we've got some uh, flood warnings across the entire area over here. With uh, Those will be in place until Monday night. We also have some wind advisories across Nevada, and we even have a winter weather advisory for Northern California. So winter has not completely left us despite all these warm temperatures. A little bit closer, we've got these flood warnings even into Mississippi, 
Arkansas and Louisiana as well. So they've been getting plenty of rain and the rain that they got today did not help matters any. Moving through the rest of the night and into our Friday, we'll see those showers continue to drift to the east. It's going to start to clear out in the middle of the country, start seeing more sunshine. Meanwhile, across the west, you'll see more of these scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up. And you can even see across Nevada and into Idaho, there's some snow showers as well. So that warmth they saw today, that's going to be going very quickly into some snow and back into some wintry conditions. Tomorrow, 73 in Billings, 77 in Denver, 88 in Phoenix. 73 in Minneapolis in the north and cooler again 65 in New York. Here we have the Senior Citizen Mobile Home Terrace in Florida. The temperature is 79 with some storms for Friday. Meanwhile we'll have sunny skies for the entire week pretty nice and into the 80s through the rest of the week as well. Now it's time for the trivia question. Let's see if you can pick this one up. What year are Brandon and I? Are we freshmen, sophomores, juniors, or seniors? If you were paying close attention earlier in the show, you might be able to pick that one up. Now we'll throw it over to Brandon, where he's going to tell us a little about, about the Iowa weather we saw today. Yeah, it was very nice today. Nice finish, but look, we have some nicer temperatures in the forecast, getting up to 78 by Sunday. We'll tell you more details. Welcome back to Size Size on the Skies. I'm meteorologist Brandon Libby. Now, today finished very nicely. We started in the mid 40s when we woke up. We saw some rain showers earlier in the day, but we kind of uh, lost that cloud cover and that rain, and we're left with nice sunny skies. Temperatures in the mid 60s topped out to even a few 70s, 71 over in Sioux City. Now, outside the studio here in Ames, it's 66 degrees. You see that partly cloudy skies and that north northwest wind at 15 miles per hour pretty pleasant out there right now and now it's time for tonight's edition of spot the low let's see if you can find it yeah it's right there you see it spinning around i got a bunch of scattered precipitation some rain showers behind it and you see these nice striations in the cloud cover we're seeing uh, right now over us that sunny skies so that'll change in just a little bit we see, should see a few more rain showers that'll move out of here. Nothing too major as that cold front moves out. And we'll see cooler conditions tonight in the mid 40s once again. But Friday looks to be a very nice day. We get that cloud cover moving out in the morning. And we're left with clear conditions over much of the region as a high pressure system moves in here. Now Saturday we do see some rain showers returning into the area. Uh, some thunderstorms with that as well. We'll take a look at that in just a few seconds. Now, lows tonight, again, will be in the mid-40s, 45 in Marshalltown, 47 in Des Moines, and a cool 40 up in Mason City. Here in Ames, 44 degrees. A chance of storms early, but then mostly cloudy. That rain shower should move out tonight. North-north wind at 8 to 13 miles an hour. Now, tomorrow looks to be very nice. 65 degrees in Marshalltown, 64 in Waterloo, even a few upper 60s, 67 in Sioux City, and 68 in Council Bluffs. Here in Ames, 65 degrees, perfect conditions, mostly sunny and mild conditions, north wind 7 to 11 miles an hour. Now, I just had to show this. I couldn't resist because these are the highs we're expecting for Saturday in the mid-70s. Sunny skies in the uh, first part of the day. We'll see some thunderstorms later in the afternoon. But look at these. Get, your, get outside and enjoy a picnic or maybe go uh, bike outside. It's going to be a very nice day for it. Now, Saturday, again, mostly sunny skies. Sunday, some thunderstorms, 40% chance. But we do warm up even more to 78 uh, again, thunderstorms in the afternoon as a low pressure system moves in. Monday, we'll see those storms re uh, lingering around 30% chance of rain. That should be out of here uh, in the morning with a high of 71 degrees. And then for Tuesday, we cool down to about 63 degrees, but we do begin to warm up again. Uh, 69 degrees on Wednesday and 65 degrees on Thursday. So it's looking like a very nice forecast for you. Uh, we'll send it back to Jarrett. Thanks, Brandon. Now let's take another look at that trivia question we had earlier in the show. What year are we? We Are we freshmen? Are we sophomores? Are we juniors? Or are we seniors? Brandon, what do you think? Oh, this is a tough one. I, you know, sometimes I feel like a freshman, but I, I think we're probably close to juniors, probably seniors. Um, what know, do you think? I feel like maybe we dropped a hint about this at the beginning of the show, but... I'm not sure if I remember what we said. So. I, uh, hopefully the audience can help us out. Let's see what Let's we are. Let's find out what it is. Let's find out what it is. It's seniors. Oh, I knew it. It's I had seniors. a feeling about that one. We are seniors. So uh, I was actually checking out 
we have like a live feed going on Twitter based on what the show is. And our statistics are showing that we had above normal uh, viewership for this show. For this show alone, it's because we're the two best guys around here. Yeah, it's excellent. Uh, clearly. I mean, the distribution of our talents has been pretty impressive. <laughs> it has. Yeah. I'll have to agree with you. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's crazy how fast the last four years went. I feel like really? we were just came in as freshmen. Oh, uh, you transferred in, correct? I did transfer in, yeah. So, um... This is actually my third year, but it's also my last, and it's just, it's really surreal. Like, this is the last time that I'm going to be sitting at this desk talking to you guys, so. <sighs> We're going to miss it, that's for sure. Definitely, definitely. And, uh, man, we had a nice day out there today. Yes. It kind of started off rough, uh, rain showers, got my socks a little wet walking to class. Oh, really? But I did, unfortunately. Did I need to get new tennis shoes. The show? Uh, no, they're still wet. You can feel them if you want. No, you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. I got I got wet in the rain earlier, too, so, you know, I know what It happens. Like. It happens, yeah. right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, t uh, this is looking like a really nice weekend with temperatures in the mid-70s. I can't wait. We'll have to get outside and do something. Well, you know, we've got that project that's due next week. Maybe we can go outside and work on that. Yeah, I know you are. He's going to be working on it. Yeah. Uh, I'm a little MIA for that one, but... Yeah, uh, I guess I get to enjoy the nice weather while he's uh, inside, <laughs> so... Uh. Uh, it happens, it happens, but I know the show will be in good hands with Jan and Zane. Uh, I yeah. know they're looking forward to uh, running the show next year. I know, well, Jan already did this year with me, but uh, they'll be in good hands, and yeah. look forward to watching shows next year yep, online so. at the website. Make sure you get on there and watch it. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We... Uh, been posting pictures from the year it'll be nice to see kind of some memories about this year so uh hopefully you'll tune in next year and uh have a great summer we're out on size eyes on the skies peace <laughs>